decided to do a food Friday upload, so nice, easy family baking. Well, I don't think it's ever easy to bake with family, but nice things that the kids enjoy, that we enjoy making. And as Wimbledon has been on, we've decided to go for an eat a mess. <laughs> because we're probably going to make a mess. So I've enlisted Adam to help because he's got his mixer. And it is his mixer because he brought it on Black Friday once because we needed it. For you. Yeah, but do you like I do like baking, I do enjoy it, but I do use a hand whisk. But Adam enjoys making things like this, with this. Like, yeah. Anyway, so for the eat and mess, we need four eggs, 220 grams of a caster sugar, and that's it really. Uh, a little bit of vanilla extract just to add in, and then for the filling, we'll do that in a bit. So I'll let the kids decide what they want to put in it. So first things first, Grace, are you going to be my handy little helper? Mm -hmm. We need to separate the eggs. Did you know what that means? No. So separating the eggs means... No, that's not separating oh, the oh. eggs. <laughs> So separating the eggs basically means that you pack the egg yeah. and we want to take the yellow bit away from the white bit. So we go do, 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 like that. Okay, so all the white bit stays in there and then the yellow bit goes in there. Okay. And we're having omelettes for dinner so we're not going to waste the yellow bit. Okay? Go. Me too. What other egg? <laughs> You're going to need both hands. Get ready to catch it so you want to turn it upside down. Right, where's your crack? Let's right, so make a better crack and you want to crack it so that you catch it in one side, okay? So put your thumb in a bit. That's it. it this way then. So keep your hands together a bit. Can't let any yellow get through. Don't squeeze it or anything like that, okay? Right, that's it. <laughs> okay, so just sort of let the white all fall through. I'm sure I do kitchen utensils to separate the egg whites. Okay, are you happy that all the whites are out? Yeah. Sort of tip your hand forward a bit so it gets into your fingers more. That's it. There you go, now put the yellow in there. Yay! Oh, it's about to drop through your fingers. Okay, so once you've separated the eggs, we now need to whisk, whisk, whisk up the white. So you're going to put this all in your mixer. This is your jar. Why do you need to whisk it all? So what we're going to do now is we're going to whisk the eggs for a, re for a fairly long time. We don't need these ones anymore. We'll serve them for dinner. Um, we're going to whisk them until they make soft white peaks. So we're going to put this back on. Let's see, start adding the sugar in. Keep going. You can probably add it in a little bit faster than that. Okay, not too much to it at a time. Keep going. 
once it's done, you need to make sure your oven is preheated at 140 and you also need to fry with baking powder. Baking powder? No. Um, what's this called? Greaseproof paper. paper. No, oh, I got you I confused there. So the test, yes. the test. Might <laughs> <add to that. laughs> right. So the test for meringue is you're meant to be able to turn the bowl upside down over somebody's head. Oh yes. <laughs> so as Seth's been the naughtiest boy, he can have it over his head. <laughs> oh. Yes. Right, Seth. So so come here, put your head here. Are you ready? Ruben, get down. Oh, yay! <laughs> and again. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's done. So, that's all done. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to spoon it on in a mess. Ruben wants it on his head. Come here, Ruben, stand here. And then that's food. No, obviously I'm not going to spoon it on your head. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> so we're going to spoon it onto here. What are you doing? It's not going to come out. It's done. Um, in like a mess. I think. I don't really know how to do this. But no, you can't lick it. It's raw egg. of meringue is meant to be the hardest part. I don't know why. What did you just say? Come on. Am I okay? It's sort of like a okay. Individual blocks if you want to yeah, check it, I want to make a big one. Like so I'm just going to spread this no, a little. Yummy. I'm going to put this in the oven for an hour and a yeah. half. Yeah. <laughs> Never work with husbands some children. Yeah. So we're going to put it in the oven for an hour and a half now. Oh, seriously, no. So while the meringue's cooking in the oven, we're going to get going with making like the filling and the cream and stuff. So I have enlisted. Did you see it, Blueberry? Yeah. So I've enlisted Adam to whisk up the cream because he's got strong arms. <laughs> so he's going to whisk some cream up. We're going to cut some strawberries up and put them in our neutral it just to whisk up for like. I don't know what the right terminology for, yeah, like a bit of a puree. So we're just going to cut the green bits off the top and whack them in there. So if I put the green bit off Elijah, yeah. can you whack that in there? Yeah, I do. Okay, we're only going to do two or three. So if you um, whip off that much cream. Let's 
not a lot. My vegetable. Bit of this to the cream, just because the cream's a little bit over with. And it'll just. Okay, so the meringue wasn't brilliant. Um, I think I messed up with the cooking, so I didn't quite cook it long enough, but there's more than enough meringue to make an eaten mess. So what I've done is I've crumbled up the meringue, which is here, and I've broke it all down. I've put the cream in as well, and then I've put some strawberries on top, and then the strawberry puree as well, which has dribbled down all over. And I must say, even though they look a complete mess, they look yummy. Right, so taste test time. Go. I got one for you. What do you think, Elijah? Is it good? It tasted the. Like... Mostly taste the strawberry sauce. It tasted the like strawberry sauce. Good. Nice and refreshing. It tastes a bit like ice cream. Does it? Mm -hmm. so this was a relatively easy, relatively easy thing to make. If I would have left it in the oven long enough, it would have turned out absolutely fine. Totally my fault for not checking the times. But really easy to make, really tasty, and really summery. So I would definitely recommend making it, especially with the kids, because they really <laughs> enjoyed it. And they, I think they've enjoyed eating it more. <laughs> so thank you very very much for watching please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe by pressing the red button and also press the bell so that you don't miss out on any uploads as well thanks very much bye see you all soon Peace. bye say bye Peace. Peace.